Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question 2555 that says maximize the win from two segments. Okay, so here we are given uh, some prizes on x axis uh, with that position uh, is represented by, represented by price position and this is uh, this area is already sorted uh, in non decreasing that is increasing order, right? And from here, what we need to do, we need to select two segments okay of uh, of integer endpoints uh, and that may, must be of size k the length of the segments right uh, and we need to collect all the prices that lies between the two segments okay uh, so let's say here if k is equal to 2 that means we have to select segment of size 2 so the possible the, so the segments we can select are 1 2 3 and 2 to 4 or 3 to 5 so this size these are the segments because 3 minus 1 is 2 right so this is how this is a we can say this is a two size segment and all on all the numbers that lies between one and three in this price position is our answer right and uh, so for these two segments we need to sum all the points that lies between the segments and we, uh, that is our answer so yeah and what we need to do in that we need to maximize the number of prices that we can collect from the two segments optimally right okay so let me uh, try to give you this example so here this uh, is a price positions given the prices are at position at 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 5 so this means that there are two price at position 1 two price at position 2 two price at position position 3 and one price at position 5 so from here we need to select a segment of size 2 right two segments of size 2 so one segment can be 1 2 1 2 3 and another can be 3 2 5 uh, okay so 1 2 3 uh, this segment uh, how many price does this has this is six price all this all this six price right and this segment segment three to five this is three price but this three and three are already included in the first segment so yeah we can't include it further right so that's that's why we written seven as our answer okay got it so yeah and here in this case we have k equal to zero that means the segment is of size zero uh, so it contains only one index that is three or three four or four one or one two or two okay so that's why uh the only possible answer is two so in this condition let's say if k equal to 0 so let me try to show it here if k equals to 0 then uh, we will what we will do we will simply return minimum of n comma 2 that means if the size of this price position is less than 2 then we will return that so here n is uh, size of this price position dot size right so in that case we will return the minimum of minimum of n and 2 because k is equal to 0 right uh, and the else condition uh, for the before this ahead code we will discuss now by taking one example okay uh, so yeah let me choose one space okay so here what we are doing we need to select see just uh, go through the question what we are doing we are selecting two segments see what uh, two segment right and uh, size is fixed fixed size k right Okay, and uh, what we are given, we are given some uh, some type of uh, array like this 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, let's say 6 is not there, then 7, 7, 8, okay, some something like this, okay. Uh, for a, for an example, let's say k equal to 3. So, we need to select segments like this, like 1, 2, 4, or, and 4, 2, 7, 5, 6, no, 4, 2, 8. Uh, 8 minus 4 is yeah, 4 to 7 it would be uh, or we can select something like this 5 to 8 1 to 4 so any two segments we need to select here so I hope you guys got the question so let's say um, if you select a segment 1 and 4 uh, so uh, let's say if you select one segment 1 and 4 the uh, what would the answer how many price can you get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so all these eight prices would lie here so that will give you answer eight and if you select another segment four to seven then how many prices you can get one two three three prices but instead of that if you select five to eight how many prices you can get one two three four four prices. so these two are optimal answer right eight plus four so that's 12 and here all the segments are covered right uh, sorry uh, so here both the segments there are two segments and uh, each of size k so everything is satisfied and we get our answer k so are you guys uh, so guys can you visualize something like there is a size of window a window a window 
we can see sliding window type concept here that we are using a uh, uh, something like uh, sliding window let's say our segment uh, our segment is size let's uh, here let's say if our segment uh, uh, would be of size 1 for an instance segment is size 1 that means case is 1 so we can take this window up till 2 then fill from 2 to 3 then from 3 to 4 then from 4 to 5 then 5 to uh, 5 to 6 6 is not there then uh, 6 to 7 and yeah then 7 to 8 so these are different possible segments if our k would be 1 so as you so guys can you visualize something like sliding window yeah sliding window um, will be used here that is correct okay now another thing to note here is let's say uh, let me erase this for a time being uh, okay so let's say here this is uh, one segment you have selected so uh, to get the maximum answer so let's just think will you select 2 to 3 or, or you will select 3 to something 3 to 4 see you won't ever select uh, 2 to 3 because that is overlapping with one selected so for a time being just assume that this is selected so any other segment that you will select won't be overlapping because that won't give our best answer right so uh, for that reason what we would do we would try to select all the not overlapping segments okay i hope that is clear so instead of selecting this uh, 3 2 to 3 we will select 3 to 4 or something like that okay so uh, one point is clear is uh, non overlapping will get a uh, better answer okay so we need to select something like this non overlapping so uh, can you guys uh, from this what you can do is you can can you visualize that if you try to get maximum answer uh, let's say for each i so let me represent this as i so for each i if we let's say here we are having i so for each i if you get if you try to find one segment from here let's say let me name it as segment one and one segment from a hole here okay if you try to do this uh, if you calculate somehow and take the maximum of here and maximum from here then what does this means this means that uh, the segments from this part and from this part won't are not overlapping and if you choose a maximum segment from this then you will get the best answer right okay got it so that's only what we are doing here we would be uh, for each index we would select we, uh, that uh, the segment of size k from the left and from the right and that that would be the maximum answer uh, and yeah and summing up that would get would give us our answer so for more understanding let me take do a dry run uh, approach the approach that we are taking here so yeah let me just clear this all things and we what we would do we would make two array that is left max one is left max and another is right max so what does left max will do it will select a, a segment of k size from the left side and that is maximum okay so initially let's say for i is equal to zero so that is since there is nothing present on the left our answer would be also zero right here it would be zero and uh, same thing uh, uh, let's also for this right for the right max here we will initialize as zero the same reason okay so guys if you can notice here so let's say this is one segment in another window uh, see this is the left max window and the right max window would be from here would be a maximum size window from here to here right so uh, so uh, in, so no it's not it won't be zero here it would be one see, on the left max in, uh, for this element one the left max it's one right maximum size window maximum answer we can get from this segment right of, for this segment and for this same segment up till then what is the maximum answer you can get so the maximum answer you can get would be from one to four this uh, this segment from one to four okay and that is what one two three four five six seven eight so here it would be eight okay the right max uh, maximum answer from the right side okay so here and so now up from here to here so let me just erase few of the things okay so now the current segment is from here to here right this is the left segment and the right segment would from the same index to up till the end okay so from these two parts this is the first part and this is the second part we need to select uh, k, k size segment uh, that is maximum of size k okay the answer best possible answer from here to here is two and from here is two uh, up, up from one to five four we have to select only this segment right In, um, means only this segment will give the be best possible answer if you select two to five then also it will give the best answer right so uh, the what would be the answer that here also it would be eight right 
oh sorry not 8 but here it would be 7 so let me show so if you take uh, 2 to 5 that would be 1 to 3 4 5 6 and 7 see 7 elements only if you take 1 to 4 from this element to 4 then also 7 right okay uh, let us uh, so for this two there is one part this is one part and this is the rest is another part we need to select the maximum answer from this first part the maximum answer would be 3 right it is from 1 to 2 you take then you will get the best answer as 3 and from the right hand side what you can select is uh, if you select 2 to 5 then uh, our uh, uh, 2 to 5 yes then our answer would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 would be our answer uh, can you select something else uh, let's say you select uh, 3 to 7 uh, then our answer would be uh, okay 3 to 7 minus 3 is uh, 4 no you can't select 3 to 7 okay no uh, you can select 2 to 5 and you will get 7 as our answer because 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 7 elements right okay so similarly for the for the what would be the answer for this two for this two uh, your answer would be here four and here one two would be less so it would be six okay similarly for here you will get five five uh, for this frame means uh, selecting maximum answer from these and then these what you will get answer for this three you will get uh, six because one two three four five six six elements and here you will get one two three four four as our your answer right six and four for this three you will get uh, seven from here and four from here four would be this five seven seven eight for this four you will get eight from the above and uh, four from the below that is five seven seven eight okay for this five what you will get uh, you will get eight the maximum answer from the above and three from the uh, this sorry not three it would be also four right yeah and for this seven you will get uh, maximum from the above that is eight okay and from the below that is these you will get three here also eight three and here for the end you will get eight and uh, here by taking a this itself you will get one so as you can guys if you sum up this you will see that here we are getting the maximum answer eight plus four that is 12 as we discussed uh, here that if you are taking one uh, one to four that is one segment and the another segment five to eight then we are getting the maximum answer so you can see here right we have conversions like bits four and five that uh, before this and after this we are getting maximum answer and that's the only thing what we are doing for each number we are trying to get the maximum answer from the left and uh, for and the maximum answer from the right yeah so i hope you guys understood uh, this whole dry run of what we did uh now let's move on to the coding part where we will code for the same now for the let me take two vector of int it would be vector uh left there is a left prefix and the right prefix let me take it as size n plus one initial it is as zero and also the right n plus one and initialize it to zero yeah now uh let me make left of zero equals to one because uh, including that element itself uh, now let me take uh, a for loop to calculate this whole thing so uh, here uh, i will start from i equals to 1 and j equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus and here i will run one while loop to calculate and uh, let me just code this first and explain it to you then press positions of i minus press positions of j uh, if it is greater than k then what we would do we would do j plus plus that means we are simply uh, getting the window whose uh, such that the difference is less than equal to k okay then what we would make we would do left uh, left of i equals to maximum of left of i minus one that is if we have anything previous that is a maximum or that is a better answer or else we would do or we would take this window i minus j plus one or else we will take the current window or we would get simply get the maximum from the previous okay this is how what we did here if we are not getting uh, maximum from the current then we will take anything that is maximum from the previous 
so now the similar type of thing we would do for the right uh, for, for the right prefix so before that let us just make n minus 1 right of n minus 1 initial is to 1 now look for i equals to n minus 2 that is sloping from behind and makes j equal to n minus 1 i should be greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus what we would do simply this price position of j minus price position of i uh, and, uh, until it is greater than j what we will do j minus minus simply reducing the size of the window and we get uh, the proper window of size k then what we would take uh, we will do the maximum of right of j sorry i plus 1 and the current that is j minus i plus 1 okay so yeah and after this we will take one simply one result variable and we will look for i equals to 0 i is less than equals to n i plus plus and uh, we would simply take result equal to maximum of result and uh, let's say if uh, i equal equals to 0 in that case we would take from i to uh, we would take uh, i is uh, that answer is 0 and then else we would take i minus 1 and similarly we would do for if i equals equals to n question mark then 0 else we would add from right of i plus 1 okay Yeah, and in the end we would simply return the result so now let me try to run this mm, okay so here there would be column okay so instead of i plus one we will take uh, i we will include that okay so yeah the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this So yeah, our code got accepted. Now talking about the time and space complexity. See the time complexity everywhere is big O of n. This all the loops are running up till the size of this price partition, and also we are storing n elements. So thus the space complexity is also big O of n. So I hope you guys understood the approach, the intuition, as well as the code for this. So if you have still any doubts, then let me in the comment section, uh, and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.